Hey guys, it's Jacob with eTrailer. With the winter approaching, we know some of you guys are gonna to wanna to be using your RVs in the chillier months of the year. So we've compiled a few tips and tricks that are gonna help you get some of the things you might have forgotten. So without further ado, let's get to it. One of the first things that we think that uh, is easy to forget but really important is a dehumidifier. With the temperature difference outside your RV and inside your RV, it's really common to get a lot of water and condensation that develops inside, and that can freeze and it will drip cold water on you when you're trying to sleep or move around your RV. Dehumidifier is definitely gonna help avoid a lot of that. An RV skirt's gonna insulate the underneath of your RV, both to protect the undercarriage from wind and anything like that, but it's also gonna help keep it warm and make sure there's no snow that accumulates. We also suggest maybe putting a small heating element under there um, in order to keep the air underneath your RV as warm as possible. That's just gonna help you stay warmer overall. Another thing is to get a heated hose or even probably use some heat tape. A uh, heated hose like this is gonna protect your pipes from freezing. Um, it's gonna have a heating element that you can plug in along with your water intake right here. And that's just gonna keep your water warm and not damaging your RV if it freezes in your pipes. One of the tips that we cannot stress enough is to keep your alarms up to date. I mean, your smoke alarm, your propane alarm, etc. With so many elements of heat and so many things that are using propane during the winter, you're really at much higher risk of fire. Uh, so you definitely wanna make sure that those batteries are current and everything's up to date. You're gonna be using a lot more battery power during the winter to keep your RV warm. I would highly recommend getting a battery monitor to keep an eye on them to make sure that when you need them, they're ready to go. It's much more efficient for you to hold on to the heat you've already generated rather than to heat up a cold RV. So we always suggest getting some vent covers perhaps for, this, for the roof of your RV and making sure your floors and walls are properly insulated because once your RV is warm, you wanna keep it that way. Traction mats are great for your RV and for your vehicle, but one good use that you might look over them is for yourself too. Putting a mat on the outside of your RV so you have traction when you step up and down can help keep you safe throughout your camping. And as a bonus, don't be like me and forget your gloves. It seems obvious and it probably is, but they're so important that we really felt like we should include them. Any sort of work you're doing on your RV and anything that you're doing outside is gonna be made a thousand times better and a thousand times easier if your hands stay warm. Well, that's just a few tips that we have for RVing in the winter, be it for just a weekend or for the entire season. Now, this isn't gonna be absolutely everything that you need, but these are some tips that we think you can't really do without. If you have any further questions or you want any more information, check out the article that's linked below or leave a comment in the comments section. Thanks a lot and take care. All right, guys, thank you so very much for watching. To check out another one of our videos, click up here. And to take a look at an associated product that we talked about in this video, click over here. And to subscribe to the channel for more of our content, click over here. Thanks a lot and take care.